Hey, it's the Scott's Test Dummies, Scott. What are we doing? We got the championship, make America Pete it again, <laughs> and we just need a moment of silence because this is the end. That's long enough. That's good because we're about to test it! Double championship style. Let's test it. Here's a deal, though, we were talking about. We just worked out. If you yeah. notice, we've got our blind whiskey glasses, and yes. we've got a fifth one in here. Craziness. We pulled in a wild card. Right. I believe Voison. No. Was it Voison or something else? I think else? it was. Yeah, it, that yeah. said, mm -hmm. Jesse, bring one of you, you're going to. wanted two from like each bracket, kind of. I think. Well, but he said that you're bound to have something that's just mm -hmm. two awesomes in a bracket of four. The option to pull a wild card in. See, and I was looking, and it was bracket number two. I had labeled bottle number one you as a heavy, heavy, heavy yeah. favorite heavy as favorite. a wild card if we did that. I think mine was bracket three. We wrote it on here. Yeah. Uh, you got oh, bottle number, number two, seven. bracket three. You got bottle number yeah, seven. Bracket three, bracket three, this was my two. This was close because there was another bracket where I also had listed these are great. Those out, kind but, of but, but yeah, but that was close. The, what, one, one, real quick though, yeah. what else we did in bracket, I think three and four when we filmed, we misstated yep. because we thought we had not lined up on our picks and we thought we were we were we thought we had lined up on one bracket but hadn't on the other. We filmed so many. When we got done shooting bracket three four. and four, when we looked, we have lined up on we have advanced the same four bottles from each bracket for the first time. And that, that blows me away. Yeah. Because this is the best of the best with a couple of wild cards, not long row in it. But coming in and we have gone to ching to ching to ching and on many of them even our number twos we had some of the same number twos so but out of 30 we're actually at 33 bottles I about said 32 right because we added in the long road now what is this usually we have our droppers set out here brandon now these have actually been up on the website for a little bit now yes. a few days now this is exactly, the first time for us to show them on video right. this is exactly how you will get it these are um branded so this is the Angel Share water dropper set. It's got the stave, it's gonna have the little Glen Karen glass, and it's going to have the blown dropper. However, so in a beautiful, beautiful, look at a little info, this presentation, and I know there's pictures online. We'll put we'll put through, maybe through yep. a couple in here. So with our logo uh, on the Glen Karen and on the wood stave. So that is awesome. Yep. Looks very, came, they came out looking very nice. Let's so go to scotchtestdummies.com and get uh, our own custom now. Though This is an accessory we love. We've used for a long time. Let's yep. get into the tasting. Yep. 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 So uh, what coins do you have? And, and since we just brought this up, I only brought eight coins with me <laughs> yeah. for this. And we got ten glasses because right. it just came up. But, well, the wild card, I was wanting the wild card. You were kind of like, ah, we had our ones picked as a secondary, and then we're like, do it, do it. Why? We're dumb. We figured, why not add another one? Actually, it's nice. 262, 263, 264, 265. 66, 266, 267, 269, 270. And we both, not on so, purpose, are wearing the same peach shirt. Yes. Woo. I love this design. Yeah, awesome. it's a good design. Oh. So... Let's go A, B, C, D, clear. clear by clear down. You want to call, yeah. it, yeah. call it E? Let's call clear. it E. I like clear. It. clear. 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 I like that. I'd be like, clear. <laughs> what the yeah. We've worked all day. So we're fitting in the championship at the end of a hard day's work. Oh, by the way, a preset. Knowing that we were going to show this, I've got water for the dropper. Our, our dropper. You know, we don't have our palate cleansers. Um, you know, I've got some. Crackers that we can bring in. A is my A. Now remember, we're mixed up. Bart's poured mine blind. I poured his. They may be lined up. They may not. Uh, somebody wanted to know what, what these crackers are. No idea. They got seeds in them. I'll show you that. This is rich. So rich. High ABV. <laughs> it's like slaughter on the phone. 
Slada! It feels like it feels like definite sherry cask influence on this, a sweetness. For the championship, got to tip the hat back. Wow, just rich, earth, peat, sweetness, mm. sherry, possibly. This one's got a hint of the uh, the raisin, or uh, what I believe is a sherry influence. Touch of iodine, peat nestled in the back. Did we say that I called in, or my extra bottle was bottle number one, and yours was seven? Yeah, yeah so. we did. Yeah, yeah I believe we did. Because you looked on yours, and it was bracket three. So, boy, is this good. Uh, sweet underlayment, brown sugar, <laughs> mouth-watering raisin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going for the drink. I see I that out of the corner. Look at this. It was, I'm salivating. I'm like, I got to try it. I did not. Nothing be, hit my lips. Be a little bit more medicinal. Woo. Sweet. God, that's good. Pete. Ooh. Almost antiseptic. This one is dry and antiseptic. The nose is of crushed, maybe almost slight mint, but not the heavy mint. Just kind of like what you get when you twist it, throw it oh. in a little drink or something. You had something to finish there. Yeah, I know. I was stuck on what <laughs> it is. Just not really mint. Get. Just what you get. We haven't even had anything. No, we didn't even have a palate cleanser or a palate warmer upper. Going to see. This is interesting. It's strong. It's got a high ABV, kind yeah. of stings the nose. Um, uh, I feel that's uh, very Ardbeg-ish. Ardbeg-ish, tinnish. See, a little bit lighter on the nose. Mm. ABV doesn't feel as high. Mm. Fruity. Fruity citrus. Heat. My C is earth and Play-Doh. Right when you crack the lid off of that Play-Doh and you get that kind of sweet yet earthy nose. That's interesting. Rounded, mm. soft, sweet. Again, Play-Doh. Mm. Mine's softer. Sweet. Moving to D. D. Ooh. Oh, this is a rich, dark beauty here. Ooh, this one's the chocolate, Ooh. the fudge. We may have the same one. I almost, my first instinct, probably wrong. I wanted to scream out Dark Cove. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. Maybe it didn't even survive. But it did. Yeah. Darker. Yeah. I, I, I get Darkest. chocolate notes, roasted. Mm -hmm. Darkest nose so far. Mm-hmm. That's funny. How well, you just say that. remember, we have one complete. You've got one in yours it's, that's it completely match, different than right, mine. So it could be anything, all right? The only caveat we did kind of do was we have a lighter one here. Bottle sixteen was lighter, and we kind really of decided light. let's not pour it in here. Yeah, don't put so it we in didn't the know clear. where it was at. We just, you know, but who knows what that is? No idea. Wow, that is dark, and you're right. It's got. It's weird to say it's got a darker nose. But it does. It's dark, rich, chocolatey. Going to clear, baby. I should have moved one of my coins down here. That would have been a good something. idea. I should have Scent. Too. So my clear glass. I get vanilla. Mine's kind of minty. Light sugar. Citruses. Hmm. I got a little malt. Mm, touch of citrus here as well. Huh. Sugar water. I like the Ooh, idea I of got sliding out over here. That coin captured a little bit of the ABV on that whiff. Hmm. Notice we didn't really have any sour off pudding. Oh, noses. no. Uh -uh. This, is, this is the best of the best. Um, very, very good. And I so good, I wanted to taste that one right off the bat got my the most anticipation i had was right at a and then probably d here all right oh my gosh that's good slightly roasted meat salted fish but in a sweet way sorry wow i didn't have that before wow i'm going in go 
Wow, rich. The, the nose climbing out. Touches of of sherry. It's it's got layers mm. and depth. Mmm. Mmm. Cigarette ash got me right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ash tray. Higher this I remember I thought this was the one that was had the sherry nose. Mm. I don't know about the palate. Let's see. Mm. Mm, pipe tobacco, leather. This is what I love. This is unbelievably good. Juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sherry, rounded, plum. I got the vanillas and the tropical fruits. Mm. I remember that one. Whoa. Wow. I think that was the third wow. bracket. Very good. Very warming. Higher ABV. Not real high. 50s. Low, maybe. Hmm. Mm. Going to B. I was going to pull the coin off, put it over here. This is so good. This is a contender. I'm going to leave that coin. They're all there. contenders. This is the contender out of the contenders. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. That one's so good. I got to mm. cleanse. <coughs> so wow. <coughs> Higher. Rich earth mud. I believe Sherry. That might nice be my sweetness. A. Yeah, I think that's my A right there. Um, first sip, first sip. That one's beaten A. Uh, I'm not. I'm not declaring it yet. No, I know I'm not declaring, but that's got to be what I got in my glass of A. Hmm, that's good. I'm going to my B. Huh. Dustier. I'm going to go B and then A again real quick. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, I think there's more vanillas in this one. The citrus. There's a nice ashiness to it as well. Rich. High ABV. Mmm. A B here. Well, mm -mm. Yeah. It's drier. It's got a little more astringency. There's a rich depth. Strong influence of oak. The um the iodine floats softly on top. Even though I can taste it, it feels almost more like a smell. But uh, uh, for me, the, the oak, some of the vanillas of the oak here, but it's a dustier, drier, even touch of, uh, of an ashtray, but it's much more oak forward for me. Mm. I thought that was clear when I went to B, but then I went back to A, and that's good, too. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Those are both good. Mm. Let me try again, A to B. There's some wine cask influence on A, for sure. Sweetnesses. Feels darker fruit, brown sugars. Uh, C, velvety, velvety rich mouthfeel. Leather, thick leather keeps coming to mind. I don't know, I had a big thick leather bomber jacket. Kind of reminds me of. Fit leather? Thick. Oh, thick. I don't know why. I don't know what thick would mean, but thick or is it genuine <laughs> it's 100 <percent> raw <laughs> um wow uh brown sugar touch of cream with the brown sugar which is interesting almost softens lights lightens it up a little bit so the oak the vanillas that leatheriness creamy brown sugar sweetness i can't decide on a and b so far a is uh, ahead of both i will come back and try them a little later very impressive let's go to c and d very 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 impressive that one's high abv gosh darn this is gonna be tough well, they're all winners yeah they're all winners of winners the fact that we've got the same four bottles out of 33 mm -hmm. 
four out of five. Crazy. And the fact that we were mixing them along the way didn't know. That's what's... See? High ABV. Such, and a nice... Got to be a wine cask influence with it, possibly. This is going to take some time to sort out. Mm. And I'm going to add... Mm. I'm going to... I'll tell you what, on A and B, I'm going to add a drop of water. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Touch of licorice. Mmm. Wow. Um, like a licorice root. It's disgusting. Root. I am root. I saw that, by the way. Mm -hmm. Good move. Avengers. Wow. Let me come back to that. That was interesting. Let me make sure it wasn't cracker influence. That was something else. I got black licorice root, whatever that means. Mmm. Burst of juicy sweetness right on the front. Mmm. Hits that black licorice again. Rich, tarry, thick, viscous. Great mouthfeel. 46 ABV probably. Somehow this is screaming Oogie Doll. I could be way off. Um, I think Oogie is higher at 46. Maybe it is. You're, you're, I think you're right, actually. But... For some reason, something clicked Oogie, and God knows I'm wrong. Um, wow. Um, smoky, salty, savory finish. Lingering touches of pipe tobacco. To me, that's up there with the, uh, the A. Those two just on the shockingly openness of it. Wow. See, such a, such a nice... Juicy fruit, rich, high ABV, tropical fruit, sweetness. Peat. Shoe leather. Hmm. Mm. D. Wow. Caro syrup on the nose. A, uh, a malty grain goodness oh what have we done mm -hmm. mm. 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 I'm going right into a drop of water these are my A B C D are all oh very my. good very high ABV oh or higher all outstanding Hard to pick a one. Wow. Finish here is a smoky sweetness of like a like a sweet pipe tobacco. It reminds me of my grandfather used to smoke and you just get a whiff of it as it blew on by. That's the finish. The open was rounded in vanilla. Oh boy, the finish here is still delicious. God. I haven't eliminated one. Mm, I'm not eliminating, but I am slightly this, ranking. We apologize, first mm -hmm. of all, for staying here as long as you have. Mm -hmm. We apologize for how long this one might go. Mm -hmm. We are hashing out perfection. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm. Let me go wow. back to D. This has got to be an art bag. Now I want to call this Dark Cove. I'm lost. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more what they could be. I'm just going to try to enjoy what's what's present. Wow. Um, D. A lot more cigarette ash. Wow. Campfire smoke. I'm going to add a touch of water. It's thick. Just, just a touch. I haven't even gone to my clear glass, the fifth one yet. I thought the dark cove would stand out. I'm pretty sure it's in here. I remember bracket four, I said that's it. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe it's in here, but these are all so good. Probably several, couple with the same Stellar. profile. I believe we have multiple art bags in here. I do. Mm. Um, and I think that's part of why I need to just that quit even like trying to call them. Several. Yeah. Several would be, are very I, similar. I would hazard a guess. There's, 
I don't know, and we'll include your wild card, we'll include mine. I would say there's four hard bags in here out of the six, I think. I mean, we don't know. But uh, I, I'm getting multiple things that remind me of Ardbeg, and uh, I become a full Ardbeg fanatic. Wow. Let me. Uh, I think uh, that's it. I was talking, I hadn't had it yet. That one is good. That one. Oh, good. No, that one is good. My clear glass. Oh, so is mine. That is high ABV. Okay. Sweetness. I'm going to remove B. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Compared to with what I have in front of me, it ends a little bit more stringent. It's got that dry, slightly cottony feeling. And maybe, maybe a touch, a drop of sourness. Nothing off-putting. I love it. The ABV feels very high. I lean toward the leathers and the tobaccos, and I'm not getting as much of that here. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, though. Love it. I could sip that all day long. D is good, too. I hate to eliminate it. It's great. Try D is bring. I tell you what, right there on the finish, I'm getting a really cigarette ash that's turning me off. Hmm. On D. Okay. Literally ashtray. Hard bag. Ten. Let me see. I think. Mm. Mm. I'm going to C next. Mm. Yeah. I'll take D out just next to my clear glass. Beautiful nose. Caramel sweetness. Salted caramel. Mm. My clear glass is the one to beat, I think, in this. Opens up with a sugary, watery sweetness. Transition, you get hints of the peat. Hints. These are all powerful peats, but the peat's falling into the background a little bit here. Nothing wrong with that. Stays savory, salty. More of a salty rather than a brine. Very savory though. This is like, like a nice cured meat. It's good. The finish is less lingering than I like. I like that smoky peaty finish or that leathery finish or even that pipe tobacco. So again, unbelievably good. Tasty. Could sip this all night. I'm going to sip it one more time and then slide it off to the left. Mmm. That's good. Seeds I got. That's some nice smoked meats right there. It's a little bit lighter ABV than what I'm looking at in my clear glass and D. This is five outstanding peats yeah, faced top, up. Top tier. As, as you can tell, we picked them all. Blindly, I even hate to eliminate D, but now well, this this is going to be tough. If I had to pick, I think the middle one was slightly weaker than these other two. Mm -hmm. I'm moving right down the line, and my clear glass is going to take out C as well. Wow, but not by much, and it barely took out D. I know these are these are top tier. I didn't think it'd be that hard. Oh, we did mm -hmm. March Peat Madness, mm -hmm. picking a winner mm -hmm. easy. When we did the Peat Strikes Back, easy. Yeah. This. Well, it's because we've got the best of the I both, know. and it's yeah. so clear that with us not knowing what's in, we've picked out the top ones. Even agreed on several of our number twos. Wow, my clear one is really kicking some butt. <laughs> Mine is too. I think it's still the Dark Cove, but this Down could to be my Dark beat. Cove too. You've called three of them now, the Dark Cove. I think I said this one twice was Dark Cove, and I thought this one was too.
B. I'm going to go back into my B. All these great noses. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I remember that one now. Wow. B is a little bit smoother. Just vanillas. Peat. Nice. Earth. Rich. Full. Up against the clear glass. This is going to be way wrong. But if it's right, it'll be cool. I think it's taking it down too. This one's grooves. D grooves. Clear glass. Clear glass. Dark cove. A. I'm going to hazard is Oogie Doll. <laughs> Who knows? I'm feeling it though. The thing is, I don't know that these are even in order. I'm just saying that I've just had to take this clear glass and beat them out one by one. These good. Feels sweeter. Doesn't seem to have the depth of either clear or A. This is going to come down. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Phenomenal even. But it's going to come down to these two. Well, A has such a nice, rich sweetness. I'm trying to think of how to describe them apart from each other. I got a cleanse. But they're all so good. Mmm. 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 Well, I tell you what, the clear glass has mm -hmm. got to be... It's dark cove. <laughs> if it's anything like what I got in my clear, it's a dark cove. It's that same mm -hmm. wonderful burst of goodness. It, it stood out in the other brackets, but this one, I can't. I don't know if I can declare it. Mm. The, the one I've spent the least amount of time with is the grooves. Just by the nature of how we are able to source it and then get it into the the peat strikes back. So I've got the least amount of experience with it. I've spent the most time with the Oogie. So accessible. Anybody can get it. You can't go wrong with the Oogie, guys. Even if it's not one of these. I think these are both art bags. Well, me Possibly. too. Me too. I mean, the Dark Cove committee good. release is, is obviously you can't get it anymore, but it's about the only time I wished I was a multimillionaire. I'd be like, give me a case of the committee release, uh, Dark Cove. Mm. Hmm. My lips are actually getting numb from the high ABVs getting sucked in through them. Let me see if I can try to describe A <laughs> I one know. more time. You're Rich. Be, again, you're better at the peat descriptions than me, but once my palate is this saturated by this yeah, many heavy hitters. I get a wonderful uh, pipe tobacco slash cigar on the finish. The finish is really where the peats speak to me. The opens are nice. The middles are good, but boy, do I love the long lingering finish. And this one delivers. Again, the leather, the pipe tobacco, the cigar. The humidor smell. Just a beautiful primary tobacco. Sweet, clean, rich, delicious. I believe it's going to come in second, however. I'm going to check one more time. It is so good. There is A. no loser. A is beating the clear glass. Boy, does that... The, A, the A comes off to me a little richer. A little more... Aged, well done, not by much. Hmm. B is strong, or B, clear. My clear glass is strong. It's a heavy hitter. I don't think there's as much to it as A. Let me go do one more time just to confirm. It's hard for me to put A aside. It's phenomenal. Clear is good. A is better. Hold on, let me pull A back in. We're the same, you know it. We're going to pick the same. We've been doing it. I don't know. All I can tell you is the finish I've got off A there was just way better than what I'm getting now. The finish here is uh, sweet, lingers, but it's not giving me that lingering tobacco finish that A was giving me. It's still there. The open is more explosive, more... I don't know if to say flavorful, but it's just got a spark. 
It's funny, yeah. in my head, I started to think of this as Dark Cove and this is Ugi, but they, who, who the heck knows? I just got to go with what's in the glass. Actually, wow, C is very good too. More tropical, more fruit, very good. The mid palate. B. It's oaky. That's, dry. All three of those are. Manila. I think I have those in order, barely. A and B was in a battle to begin with, and B is still up in there with it. Touch of iodine on the open. Rich. A little bit of lacquer. I'll touch them all one more time, but I believe A may have it. I think my, my clear glass has a higher ABV. A little bit more punch there, but A is a little bit lower, not much. More rounded, more sweetness everything All right, one last my num touch. my twos could be both of these can can be the clear glass and b possibly maybe the no no the clear glass took out b so the b is falling in behind the like i got a one two three four five my d is the weakest of these heavy hitters my d is rich that d is powerful it's a big power are you declaring power. Hey, they're all good. That one went down the wrong pipe slightly. I advanced A. Mm. Do you think our A's are the same? I don't know. There's so many good ones in there, we could have separated here. Yep. Your so, A oh, man. is bottle number 16. We separated. Your A is bottle number 10. Oh, there's mine right there. So... Scott's number one. You chose the lightest one wow. of the batch. Wow. Both from bracket one. That's not an art bag. Well, that's bracket three. Oh, Scott's okay. number one from bracket three. Both. Both number one from bracket three, which we didn't write on this one. This was bracket one. Well, we both chose this in bracket one. Shelly, is it time for the reveal? We got to know. I've got the master key this time. Yeah. You've got, I've you got chose it. number 16. Okay. Which is what letter? Letter L. <laughs> <laughs> this is my number one. Yep. What is it? Log of Google in 12 year, 2017 edition. <laughs> I love you it. are not, you need a Lagavulin tattoo. Maybe. Wow. Bottle L. Bart. You said 16 is L. 16 L. Lagavulin 12, 2017. That's what you said, and I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. Very good. You're shocked. I love it. I mean, I love <laughs> that bottle, too. I did think it was our bag. Let me uh, let me have a sip of it right now, though. I do get leather always from Lagavulin. Yeah. So I had bottle number ten. Hey, Ardbeg Dark Cove Committee Woo! release. Boy, I tell you what, that was in a head to head though. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was tough to call. Number one for Scott. Wow, and is that what I called my number two? Yep, that was your number two then, because you called the same one. So I did call it as the Dark yeah. Cove. Hmm. And then I chose my number two. It's hard. That was a hard one. Bottle number 12. G. Octomore 6.3. Ooh, really? Wow. That's two sleepers. Two. From the bracket, your Lagavulin 12, 2017, and the Octomore 6.3 wow. are sleepers from the bracket. What's funny was that Octomore 6.3 to me was advancing up until it got to the Ardbeg Dark Cove. Hmm. And the Ardbeg Dark Cove came off a little bit more well done, a little bit more aged, a little bit more sweet. Well, I had Dark Cove rolling, baby, until the lingering tobacco -y finish of the Lagavulin, <laughs> which I do love. Yep. Make America feed it again. Woo! 
Six heavy hitters, Ardbeg Dark Cove, Octomore, 6.3, Logaboolin, 12, 2017 edition, the Long Row Malbec finish. We had um, Corey Vrecken, I said mm -hmm. that. What else did mm -hmm. we have? Logaboolin, 12, 2017, Corey that. Vrecken. Dark Cove. Um, we've got in the Kill Home and Kill Home and a wild strength. card. That was a tough one. That was a hard one to call. This is a long episode, guys. Where's like, the if Oogie? you're still here. Where's the Oogie? And the tenure. <laughs> Yeah. Where's the Ardbeg 10 that you had just swore well, had to my be other, in here? It was probably my other wild card that I was You torn. swore it had to be in here. It would, you said it might win. Could have. It's not here. I thought they all would be Ardbeg. Hmm. You know what? Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Help support us. We got bumper stickers that are available. We got glasses. We got That's proper sets. That's cool. Get you one of those. Um, hats. Shirts. Yeah. We don't even have too many. You know what? Make America Pete it again. The posters are up. For a limited time, we got the 12 Hours of Boom poster from last year will be up as well. Scotch it. You peated scotch gods. Hard bag, dark cove. Mm, it is good. I also like vlog vote well. Slaunch it, dummies. Dummies!